uh, yesterday we have discussed about the uh, synthesis of adipose uh, fat that is deport fat triglyceride today i am going to discuss the utilization of deport fat the deport fat is utilized as a source of energy it is stored in the adipose tissue and has advantages in that it is a condensed source of energy about 9 kilocalories per gram and being water insoluble it does not produce any osmotic problem on being mobilization that is when it undergoes into lipolysis the neutral fat which is known as triglyceride of the adipose tissue is split into its constituents and its constituents are three fatty acids and glycerol uh, here it is important to note that two hormones which are secreted in response of low blood glucose level one is glucagon another one is adrenaline which are basically the potent stimuli for the fat mobilization they act in the sequence that they act in the sequence that is activation of adenyl cyclase in the cell membrane then formation of cyclic amp then activation of again adenyl cyclase in the cell membrane um okay um i said that it act in the sequence that first activation of adenyl cyclase in the cell membrane then formation of cyclic amp then activation of protein kinase uh, then movement of hormone sensitive lipase will occur to the surface of lipid droplet and ultimately hydrolysis of triglycerol will take take place to liberate three fatty acid and one glycerol the splitting uh, process of triglycerol uh, triglyceride will take place with the three different lipases in the first reaction triglyceride in the presence of water will be acted by lipase that is triglyceride lipase which will convert triglyceride into diglyceride and liberating one fatty acid in the second step uh, keep remember that this is the hormone sensitive or hormone depending enzyme activity which we uh, which i just uh, told you that it depends upon the activity of hormone catecholamine glucagon and other hormones are also important that is tsh as well as one more thing that is fasting in the second step we have now diglyceride and one fatty acid this fatty acid has been removed now diglyceride again acted by uh, the enzyme diglyceride lipase in the presence of water and will liberating one more fatty acid and leaving behind monosaccharide monoglyceride in the third step monoglyceride lipase which will be acting on monoglyceride in the presence of water to liberate glycerol and fatty acid as i said that step 1 is rate limiting and in the beginning i told you about the activation of activation of this series of reaction will depend upon the cyclic amp as well as insulin uh, keep remember that insulin inhibit lipolysis so ultimately insulin is responsible for the deposition and for the storage of more fat in the body 
now come to the point that the fat of uh, the fate of two constituents of triglyceride one is cholesterol another one is fatty acid that is depending upon the series of reaction all of you know in the from the previous lecture i told you that the adipose tissues are lacking the enzyme that is glycerol kinase which is required for the reaction in which glycerol in the presence of atp will synthesize glycerol 3 phosphate so that the synthesis of triglyceride will take place so synthesis of triglyceride is not taking place in the adipose tissue as well as in the muscles but it can take place in the liver kidney as well as in the heart so the main function of glycerol that is liberated will react in the presence of atp to synthesize glycerol 3 phosphate and in this reaction one adp is removed this reaction is essential for the further utilization of glycerol due to the absence of this enzyme in the adipose tissue the fat cell that is adipocyte cannot utilize the glycerol which is liberated from triglyceride therefore glycerol is liberated into the blood stream and it is carried to the liver where it is converted to glycogen and or glucose by the sequence of reactions glycerol will which will be converted into glycerol 3 phosphate as well as it is converted into dihydroxyacetone phosphate then glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate which either enter glycolytic pathway for oxidation or for gluconeogenesis the glycerol which is to be used for esterification with the fatty acid that is lipogenesis in the adipose tissue has to be present as glycerol 3 phosphate which is supplied by the glucose metabolism which we have already discussed or i already told you in my previous lecture now and the the second important thing uh, we have discussed the fate of glycerol now what is the fate of fatty acid which are liberated or which are derived from depot fat so it, it is i hope clear that glycerol the fate of glycerol is to synthesize or to convert into uh, glycerol 3 phosphate uh, but in the adipose tissue it is liberated into the blood stream as the enzyme glycerol kinase is lacking in the adipose tissue so ultimately this glycerol will be carried into where in the liver and it will be converted either into glucose uh to utilize the process of gluconeogenesis or uh, it may be converted to glycogen now uh, come to the fate of fatty acid the fatty acid in the plasma uh, they are called as free fatty acid they will never circulate as a uh, as free as it is uh, said but they are circulated always in combination with the albumin which is a carrier protein or which is a transport protein they are oxidized to supply energy to the body fatty acid oxidation is the prime important reaction which is taking place in the human body not only in the human body but in the all living systems to provide energy the this oxidation reaction mostly occur in the mitochondria of many tissue 
where the citric acid cycle is also take place the mitochondria also have electron transport chain system and a mechanism to couple oxidation with phosphorylation thus the mitochondria contain all the component of the respiratory chain and are the place where energy is liberated from the oxidation of various food stuff even used to synthesize atp once in the cytosol of the tissue cell fatty acid undergo two different pathways depending upon their chain length keep remember i said that once uh, in the cytosol of the tissue cell fatty acid undergo undergo two different pathway and on which it is depending it is depending upon the chain length to enter the mitochondria so there are uh, two different chains long chain fatty acid and short chain fatty acid now long chain fatty acid which are uh, known as those fatty acid or those fatty acid which are longer than 12 carbon in their chain are acted by acyl coa synthetase which is present in the endoplasmic reticulum so we are talking about long chain fatty acid which is considered as those fatty acids which are containing more than 12 carbon in their chain so they are acted by acyl coa synthetase enzyme and where it is present it is present in the endoplasmic reticulum this results in the formation of long chain fatty acyl coa which is then transported across the inner mitochondrial membrane by the special transporter which are known as carnitine c a r n i t i n e because this membrane is impermeable to the long chain fatty acyl coa molecule so keep remember that another component is required which is known as carnitine and this will help to transport long chain fatty acyl coa into the mitochondrial inner membrane now come to the short chain fatty acids short short chain fatty acids having up to 12 carbon and they can easily pass through the inner mitochondrial membrane and are changed to their coa derivative by acyl coa synthetase similar like long chain fatty acid now this acyl coa synthetase is present in the mitochondrial matrix fatty acids are also oxidized through so fatty acid fatty acids are oxidized uh, by three different mechanism one is beta oxidation another one is alpha oxidation and third one is omega oxidation beta oxidation uh, in the peroxisome and by when it is oxidized by omega oxidation which will take place in the endoplasmic reticulum while branch chain fatty acids are oxidized by alpha oxidation in the peroxisomes so here i am winding up uh, this lecture tomorrow inshallah we will discuss about uh, the complete fatty acid oxidation uh, which will occur by three different mechanism one is alpha and another one is beta and omega fatty acid thank you so much